Hello, for today's video lecture we're going to be talking about concurrent force systems. So a set of forces are concurrent if the lines of action of all of the forces come together at one point. So a line of action of a force is simply the line the force vector is acting along. So if we have some force vector, the line of action is a continuation of the, uh, that vector uh, in any direction. Um, so <clears throat> concurrent forces, some things are have all the forces come together at one point. So we've got a traffic light here that's held up by uh, two cables. So each of those cables would be the direction of the force would be along that direction of the cable and a gravity force here that would be acting straight down through the center of the traffic light. So if we draw in all of our lines of action we'll notice that everything comes together at one point. So right here uh, we've got one point right in the middle where all of those lines of action intersect at a single point. Uh, contrast that with something over here. This is a non-concurrent force system. So we've got a gravity force that begins acting down. Uh, we have two normal forces acting up. So these lines of action uh, don't come together at all. Uh, so this is very much the opposite of our concurrent force system. Uh, but it's anything where everything does not come together at a single point. So this is concurrent because this single point is the intersection of all lines of action. Uh, this one, we don't have any point where all the forces come together. So this is a non-concurrent force system. So why do we care if forces are concurrent? Uh, if all of the forces come together at a single location, then no force will exert a moment about that point. So going back to our traffic light, uh, if we are looking at this body and we are looking at this point in particular, tension 1, tension 2, and the gravity force, don't exert any moment about that point. So if that's true, if there's no moments to worry about, uh, we can simplify the system analysis by treating the body as if it were a particle at that point. So this is a uh, rigid body. It's got some, ma or some mass, some volume to it, uh, but for the analysis sake, we can treat it as a single particle, just a single point, uh, at this point right here. Uh, in particle analysis, we need to balance the forces, but we don't need to worry about balancing the moments because none of the moment, there are no moments about that point. So it simplifies the problem in that we only have to worry about forces. That's why we care about having a concurrent force system. So that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.